Okay, welcome back. I know it's been a long time, but uh, yeah. So back in uh, I think November or December, the motor failed again. Um, this is the 250 that failed, and it was the same problem. It was the cam gear failed, and so I got kind of dissuade and I left the car in the driveway for quite a few months and and um, kind of put it up for sale kind of put it up for sale but not really for sale I didn't really try very hard I didn't negotiate or anything it was just whatever if they're gonna give me the money that I that I put up for it then I would have sold it but nobody did so now I guess it's it's time to get it back on the road and fix it so this is where we're at now um, so yeah so I'm just gonna have somebody rebuild me a motor and start fresh. I'm not gonna deal with any used motors anymore. Um, I'm just gonna have something brand new that I could start with and avoid all this engine problem stuff. I need to just need to get away from that and be able to enjoy the car. So that's what we're gonna do. So where does that leave us? Well, that leaves us is pulling the motor out again. So. I have started taking it apart and I'll show you that here in a second. You can see I have the radiator out, I have the fan off here, the pulley off, I got the in intake and exhaust manifold off, carburetor, alternator, battery, distributor, we have all of that off and so we're looking pretty bare in here. You can see we got all the peripherals off here. And so all we got left are the bolts around the motor and the motor mounts down here, uh, down here on the same side. I got the alternator still, or uh, not the alternator, but the starter still on there and then the bolts on the block, on the transmission. And so we have to pull this whole thing out and then uh, get it on a stand. I got to take the rest of the stuff off. And then I leave the heads on. I leave the pan on. And the company that I'm going to have rebuild it is just going to come pick it up from the house. And then in several months, uh, I think they said they were like 20 weeks out or something like that, um, that they'll, come, they'll, they'll send me the butter back. So that's currently where we're at. Uh, I'm still kind of looking at some local shops to rebuild. The only problem is, is the local shops only want to give you like a 12 month warranty. And this other company, Jasper Motors, will do a three year, 100,000 miles. And so I don't, I'm kind of in the middle. I, I, I got a lot of people telling me just to rebuild it, but I just don't think I can rebuild it and have it fail again. I don't know that I could deal with that kind of setback again and have to pull the motor back out again. So I really think I just need to go with a, just a, a new motor, a rebuilt motor, um, with somebody that's gonna give me a warranty and go that way. So I know you haven't heard from me in a while and that's why I've been a little disheartened with the car because literally I've had it for four or five years and I've only got to drive it maybe a total of 12 months total and even the last year that I drove it, or the last six months that I drove it or so, I was having overheating issues. So it's just time to have the whole damn thing rebuilt and start fresh so I can enjoy the car and start doing other things than fixing the motor. Thanks for watching. Uh, check back in. I'll be giving updates again once we do this. I'll probably do an update once I get it out. So, all right. Much love all. Hi, I'm Randy. I'm November. I do what more to do? This is Optimus Prime, and we're just ducking around. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. And thank you for checking us out.